Our vacation in Kauai was very relaxing. When we arrived in the early afternoon, we quickly grabbed a bite to eat before heading to our Airbnb, which we shared with two others. Soon after, we headed to the Luau. If you arrived early enough, you would get a quick tour of the plantation before getting to walk around on your own. There was an emu ceremony and an all you can eat and drink buffet. Following dinner was an hour long show. The next morning, we quickly made a breakfast at the condo before heading to Hanalei Farmers Market, which takes place every Saturday. We got an assortment of fruit to try and some hats to shade us. Shortly after, we took a walk around Hanalei Bay, though the waves were too turbulent to swim in. We ate lunch afterwards and decided to rest at home for the remainder of the day because we were a bit jet lagged. My friend's husband made us a nice meal for dinner. On day three, we spent the morning on Kalalau Trail. We grabbed a quick coffee before making the drive to the starting point. Since the trail requires a permit for the full 11 miles, we only did the free portion, which was a couple miles one way. The trail itself was muddy and fairly difficult, but worth it for the views we got of the Nepali coast. When we reached the end, we snacked on some Spam Masubi and watched the ocean. We also found some random kitties there too. Afterwards, we headed east towards Lydgate Beach. There's a nice cove that prevents waves from crashing in, plus the water wasn't deep. The water was so clear that you can see the fishes without having to snorkel. By nighttime, we separated from my friends, grabbed dinner, and stayed south for the remainder of our trip. Day 4 started with a nice breakfast at the B&B we stayed at. We also learned they provided a bunch of beach gear for free, so we utilized some of it for our trip. The day was filled with driving and stopping at various outlooks on the west side of the island since we were too tired to hike anymore.
In the evening, we did some snorkeling at Poipu Beach and also watched the sunset. Afterwards, we had a nice dinner at JO2. The steamed moi was particularly memorable because of how soft it was. On our final day, we woke up early and headed back to Lydgate Beach to watch the sunrise. It was a bit too chilly to swim, but it was nice having the beach almost to ourselves. We were able to pack some fruit to go from our bed and breakfast to eat as well. By 9 a.m., we were at the Marriott Resort, which holds a koi feeding every morning. We were allowed to feed and pet them ourselves. Next, we headed to probably my most favorite spot on our trip, the trail right by Shipwrecks Beach. There were stunning views of the blue water and cliffs. We ate at various places before we went to Salt Pond Park. We got to see a giant turtle resting on the sand. Our last activity of the day was whale watching. The tour included food and drinks, though we were getting too motion sick to eat. We were lucky to see at least two sets of whales. The trip ended with getting to watch the sunset on the ocean.